Richard Holder here for Speed Secrets. Today we're going to talk about superpowers. No, not the United States or Russia or hey, maybe even China. Or even the superpowers you get from superheroes like the Hulk or Thor or Captain America. But hey, it's hard not to like Captain America. I mean, he's got America right in his name. No, the superpowers we're talking about are the kind that add superpower gains to your naturally aspirated motor. High on that list is nitrous oxide. Today, working with our friends over at Zex, we're going to show you what happens when we install nitrous on a 392 Ford. Before we get to our test motor, we need to understand how nitrous works. Nitrous oxide is composed of two primary components, nitrogen and oxygen. When injected into the motor and subjected to combustion heat, nitrous oxide breaks down into these two components, and it's an extra oxygen that adds the power. To run our nitrous test, we assembled a 351 Windsor small block Ford stroker motor. The motor displaced 392 cubic inches and featured aluminum heads and a single plane intake. Comp cam supplied our hydraulic roller cam. The Extreme Energy 274 cam featured a 555-565 lift split, a 224-232 degree duration split, and a 112 degree lobe separation angle. In addition to the cam, Comp supplied the hydraulic roller lifters, valve springs, and double roller timing chain. We buttoned everything up with a set of aluminum roller rockers. Once everything was assembled, we installed the motor up on the dyno. After dialing in the tune on our test motor, that 392 stroker produced 479 horsepower at 5,900 RPM and 506 foot-pounds of torque at 4,000 RPM. Now that we've established our baseline, it's time for some Zex. To run nitrous on our 392 stroker, we installed the Zex perimeter plate kit. Now we like those perimeter plates because they feature 12 equally spaced dispersion slots. This ensures an accurate amount of fuel and nitrous to every cylinder. Now we set up this adjustable kit with jetting to provide 125 horsepower. After dialing in the fuel pressure and heating the bottle, we activated the system. Equipped with that Zex kit, our 392 stroker produced 610 horsepower at 5,800 RPM and 649 foot-pounds of torque at 4,600 RPM, proving once again that nitrous is definitely a superpower. I'm Richard Holdner. That's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at Zex. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.